Restoration Christian Ministries presents Word to Inspire You. A time for sharing the things that will bring encouragement to your heart and enlightenment to your mind. Inspirational words to keep you focused on the things of the kingdom of God and his Christ. Join us now and enjoy Words to Inspire You with your host, Pastor John Bazemore. Hello everyone, this is Pastor B, and I welcome you again to Words to Inspire You. This is the day the Lord have made. We're going to rejoice, and we are certainly going to be glad in it. Just happy again to have the opportunity to come into your homes or your jobs, wherever you may be listening to this broadcast, to share the word of the Lord with you as given to me by His Holy Spirit. I want to talk about something today that I'm extremely passionate about because I know how important it is uh, in a relationship, and that is the necessity of going deeper. Now, let, let me clarify what I mean by that. You see, many times relationships don't develop into what they really can be because of surface loving. What do I mean by that? I mean, you don't take the time to really find out the real intricacies of that person and what really makes them tick and you know what what opens their eyes and what opens their heart to receive certain things but we go by appearances and we look at them we like what we see we think they are funny and things like this but then there are there are some things that's below the surface that many people never get to find out you know i've heard people say i've been married to them for 30 years and i never knew Uh, They like that or they tell the person, well, my gosh, we've been married for 25 years. I never knew you like that because you don't take the time to dig deeper. Let me give you an example, because I think learnings are are best used when you can have an example of what you're what I'm talking about. Now, uh, I'm a big HGTV lover. And uh, I have this little decorating skill that the Lord has given me. It's nothing that I went to school for. It's just something that I have a knack for. And and I was watching this program, uh, and um, this woman bought a broken down, beat up, I mean, God forsaken house. I, I really didn't even understand why the woman wanted the house. But I did notice as she was going through the house, now her husband was looking at the outside, the windows were broken there was no door in certain parts uh there were you know scratches and scuff marks and paint everywhere i mean it was a hot mess but as the woman was walking through that home her eyes just began to light up and i was really curious about this and so she convinced her husband uh to purchase the property she and her husband uh to purpose to uh purchase the property now here's the thing she was seeing something that most people would not have seen. And it was because she had gone in homes like that before, and she knew that there were things beneath the surface that the natural eye would not see. But I wonder how many times people really take the time to see what's beneath the surface or do you just take for granted the things that you're seeing and you say well this is quite enough but you know if you really want one of those loving lasting long-term intimate erotic relationships you've got to be willing to go deeper so now here's what happened she began to work on the home and she she went directly to the stairs and she just started scraping and taking things off. And I mean, she removed layers and layers and layers and layers of paint. But now, finally, she got to the last layer of paint and then she started sanding down. And and I mean, just really uh, getting beneath all of that paint that had been covering of those stairs for over uh, 50 years. And I've got to tell you, when that home was finished, it was something to behold because she took the time to dig deeper and she was she had the ability and the willingness to see things not as they were but as they could be now it reminds me of a story in the bible and it's in the in the um it's in the book of uh i i forget what book it is so let me not say that 
but um, it's in the Old Testament. <laughs> Let me put it like that. And um, it was the Queen of Sheba. Now, she had heard rumors of the wisdom and the wealth of Solomon, but there was something staring on the inside of her that would not settle for hearsay or what somebody else's opinion uh, might have been about Solomon. She wanted to find out about this man for herself. So she went on a journey and she brought gifts with her because she wanted uh, she wanted to really impress upon Solomon when she got there how serious she was about uh, finding more out about him. Now, guys, you, you need to listen to this because, see, when you're going for the woman that you love, you need to bring something with you besides you are not having a job and too broke to pay attention. No, you need to bring something with you. First of all, even if you don't have a job, but you are working on it and, and you are doing the things necessary to get to where you want to be, but you're bringing your heart because there is something about this woman or there is something about that that man that makes you want to dig deeper, far deeper than everybody else is willing to. Because I will assure you, if she looks as good as she does on the outer surface, there's been a lot of men and there's been a lot of women that has been pursuing them. But what will make you different is your willingness and your ability to go deeper than everybody else is willing to. So now, the house that this woman bought ended up being far more valuable than it was uh, when she purchased it. And, you know, at the end, that house was literally worth 10 times more than what she uh, paid for it, even after the investment she put into it to, to get it back to where it needed to be. Because there were things there that they just didn't even put on the market anymore. Original pieces that she took the time to restore. That a preach. I'm, I wonder how many of us will take the time to restore the things that are broken. To get, I mean, imagine meeting someone and yes, they may be broken. Yes, they may not be exactly what you're looking for. But it's something about them that you see. And you, it makes you want to dig deeper and when you do here's what happens you are rewarded far more than the the men or the women that came pursuing them that was not willing to take the time and get beneath the surface and find out who that person really is and this is what the queen of sheba did she took the time and many say a long lasting intimate a uh, very um very uh <laughs> Uh, let me just say intimate relationship developed from that. And if that is true, it only happened because she was willing to go beneath the surface. She was willing to go deeper than everybody else was. And here, here is the thing. You can, you know, I often tell people, you know, they said, well, listen, man, I have a, I've been married 30 years. So I got, a lot, I have a lot of experience. So, you know, there's nothing really you can tell me about love. Uh, let me say this. Because 30 years of experience has nothing to do with it. Because here, here's the thing. There's a difference between having 30 years of experience of marriage and one year of experience 30 times. Because see, what it really means is, what am I saying? You haven't really learned anything. You haven't really taken the time to get beneath the surface. And there's things about your wife or about your husband that other people may find out in, in weeks because they took the time to find out more. You know, a lot of people lose their relationships because they don't take the time to go deeper with that person. And that woman took the time because she saw the potential in that home. And sometimes you just need to see the potential in that person that you are pursuing. Take the time to go deeper, help her or him to heal those hurts, to patch those wounds, Wounds and you will be surprised at the person that will come out on the other side because you took the time to go deeper. So I just wanted to share that with you. That thing was really resonating in my spirit because I know, you know, how how people these days, they're in such a hurry uh, to do everything that they don't really take the time to really get to know people. You know, but when you find someone that you click with, it's almost like putting a puzzle together and you just 
mess with that person. And then you take the time and you go deeper and you go deeper. You know, that's why the word of God, I believe, says he that finds a woman, finds a, or finds a wife, finds a good thing. Why? Because you, you really I have to take the time to go deeper than everyone else is willing to. And I tell you, there's there's a lot of good potential men and women out there for those of you that are looking for relationships. But I'm going to tell you something to have a long lasting, deeply spiritual, intimate, passionate, um, erotic relationship. You have got to be willing to do what others are not willing to do. And when you are, when you take the time and you use patience in developing that relationship and being true to who you are and to uh, who they are, you will find yourself having something that's very, very special. So I'm going to end there, not a long broadcast, but I think an important one, because I believe right now that we're in a season where God is going to be really loosing some things that are in the heaven and the manifestation of those things, some of those very things that you've been praying for. Some of you out there, I know you're believing God for husbands and wives. And, you know, you, you're seemingly running into the same types of people. And that's because you are not taking the time to go deeper when you take the time to go deeper one of two things is going to happen you're going to find out that you want to spend more time with that person or you're going to find out you don't want to spend any more time with that person but you've got to take the time to go deeper so thank you for giving me this time with you my prayer always is that the lord god will bless you and your family real good and until next week i look forward to sharing with you on words to inspire you. Love you with the love of the Lord and God bless you. Thank you for joining Words to Inspire You with your host, Pastor John Baysmore. Words to Inspire You is a production of Restoration Christian Ministries Incorporated. Teaching the word, living by faith, growing in grace. We thank you for watching this broadcast and pray that you will continue to partner with us. We invite you to join us again for our next program as we present Words to Inspire You, a time of refreshing.